Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Australian victim survivors of domestic abuse are being triggered and re-traumatized by Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni's new film, according to one prominent activist. The Gossip Girl alum, 36, has been embroiled in a firestorm of negative publicity and public outrage in response to her light-hearted and sarcastic promotion of the film in recent weeks. Netizens are in an uproar about Blake's joking response to a question posed by reporter Jake Hamilton during a virtual sit-down with her co-star Brandon Sklenner. When asked how she would respond to an affected viewer approaching her with their story, the actress was sprawled on a couch with her head leaning on her bent arm and replied sarcastically, maybe asking for, like, my address, or my phone number. Or, like, location share. I could just location share you, and then we could. Laughing, she trailed off, as Sklenner sat silently and appeared as if he wished the couch would swallow him. It was really weird, what were you wearing founder Sarah Williams exclusively told Daily Mail Australia. The 23-year-old, who founded the not-for-profit behind Australia's national No More Violence Against Women rallies, said Blake's interview was problematic, but that she's more concerned about the movie itself after having seen it. Blake's recent interview was very unprofessional and insensitive, Williams said. I think it shows how Hollywood often takes these issues as inspiration but doesn't take them seriously. People are going to potentially want to share their stories or want to open up to her because she's portrayed this character, she continued. Blake could have answered that question in a more respectful manner and said something like, I don't want to open up the floodgates for millions of people where I might not be able to respond, and then urged them to go to a DV service. It ends with us premiered in Australian cinemas on August 8. Since last week, Williams said What Were You Wearing has had multiple people seek their help after seeing the film adaption of Colleen Hoover's novel starring the age of Adeline actress. Quite a few people have come forward, who went into the cinemas thinking it was a rom-com, but left extremely triggered and needing our support, Williams told Daily Mail on Friday. There are no trigger or content warnings on the film. A Hollywood movie like that would have a big budget, and if they'd spent any of it on a trauma-informed advisory panel, I guarantee its first piece of advice would be to add a trigger warning. Blake Lively is known for playing leading ladies in romantic dramas and has also come under fire for light-heartedly telling women to wear their florals to the cinemas for the occasion. The poster and the marketing is all geared towards florals and romance, so as a victim survivor going in to see that movie, you're not in a prepared mindset to see something triggering, Williams said. There's nothing depicting DV in the marketing. Seeing an experience that you have lived through yourself can easily be re-traumatizing. People have been telling me they weren't prepared for it. That they weren't mentally safe and ready to see that. On one hand, the young activist said she's happy that that it ends with us is getting people talking about a very important issue. It's great that we have a movie that is about domestic violence. It's not often that we have movies depicting these types of relationships, and often, they're bad, Williams said. On the other, I definitely think that's it glamorouses and romanticizes domestic violence. While she wouldn't go as far as to say the movie was done badly, Williams said the Hollywood ending presents a big problem. It ends with us follows a woman named Lily Bloom, played by Blake, who becomes embroiled in an abusive relationship with a man named Ryle Kincaid, portrayed by Justin Baldoni. Spoiler, but when Lily leaves the abusive relationship, it all happens very safely and very perfectly, Williams said. And that's just not how it is in real life. The idea that ending an abusive relationship is as simple as just leaving is a harmful myth which the film perpetuates, Williams explained, because most people don't want the relationship itself to end, they just want the violence to stop. These factors mean that, on average, it takes seven attempts for a victim to leave a domes.